So local and state leaders assessing the severe flooding damage at an Osceola County retirement community. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. The sheriff says it is the worst he has seen, even after the extensive damage from previous storms. Sky 6 flew over Good Samaritan Village today. Officials switched from voluntary to mandatory evacuations there last Friday after noticing many residents were not leaving. News 6's Carolina Cardona joins us there live tonight. So Carolina, they're concerned the water level will continue to rise. Lisa, it's not only the water level, but also the contamination. So that's why authorities have closed off the main entrance to residents and everyone else because they don't want anyone getting in the water or even near the water because from what Mar uh, Sheriff Marcos Lopez tells us, there's feces in that water. So obviously it's making it unsafe for people right now. This is the view. This is what we see. This is the main area that has been affected by these floodwaters. It's a sense of sadness, uh, depression. Um, sometimes you say, why I move? Why not stay? Why don't I go somewhere else? Angel Irizarry and his wife moved to the Good Samaritan village in Kissimmee three months ago. Now all they have left is the clothes they're wearing. Their apartment was ruined by floodwaters from Hurricane Ian. What are you guys going to do now? Don't know. I don't have a place to live. I don't have a place to go. Um, I don't know, I just take it day by day. Today, Sheriff Marcos Lopez and Attorney General Ashley Moody toured this senior living community where several homes were evacuated. There was hundreds of people taken out of this community, uh, and when you go in there, you see hundreds of homes. Not everybody was evacuated. There's some higher areas here that weren't affected. Residents who didn't evacuate were rescued by Osceola County deputies and the National Guard. As we toured these areas, uh, you, you see the, what these folks were going through during the storm. You see cars that are submerged and underwater doors are open as if they were leaving uh, during the storm. We're going to be dealing with, with the devastation and destruction for time to come. Randy Solano with South Florida Water Management assisted Animal Control Services today with a swamp buggy looking for pets that had to be left behind. Out here, this is really devastating for these people here. So I think it's going to be a long-time recovery for them because there's going to be a lot of interior damage in their home. For residents like Angel, there are more questions than answers. He says management hasn't been of much help. The situation is that nobody tell me nothing. I asked for the game plan. I asked what are we going to happen. They don't know nothing. They can say nothing. And I asked him and he said, I'm sorry, we're working on it. Okay, thanks. Take care. That was Friday. And so now I did call the number online for Good Samaritan Village here in Kissimmee, but that number has an automated message that says right now they are not taking any phone calls because the line is full. Now, Sheriff Marcos Lopez uh, said there were no deaths reported from this community, but across Osceola County, there were four medical related fatalities. Live in Kissimmee, I'm Carolina Cardona getting the results. Back to you guys in the studio.